Hi. This is a generalized reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm out and about. I brought my cards. Uh, it's been a really dark day. It actually started off with flurries here this morning. And I feel like that's an energetic uh, thing going on with the collective right now. Flurries. And it's meant to be that way. So um, I'm actually being so shown a, a, a man with a long white beard traveling through a snowstorm. And it's like he knows where he's going, but he can't see his surroundings. Does that make sense? That's part of like a healing process of some type. Uh, let's go ahead and get into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning. And thank you for connecting us uh, with the glorious collective. Glory to the Most High, for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. Temperance in the house. What up, Sag? One on one on the clock, right when I held that up. I ask that you use me for clear, concise, and true messages for the greatest and highest good of the other person on the other side of this video. I'm being shown raspberries. You may be eating raspberries right now or eating something that has raspberries in it. Um, you may be getting your nails painted with the, color, with the name raspberry in the nail polish color. I just heard the name Aletheia. you are I feel like you're really needing validation and permission to quit your job this has been a really common theme uh, that I've been picking up on with personal readings just it, uh, with collective with also also other tar tarot readers that I'm watching um, You've already made the decision. I think that the, the energy that I'm picking up on is like the logistical part, which is actually the easiest part. The hardest part is making the decision. So I feel like Spirit's wanting me, if that's you, Spirit's wanting me to really uh, have you focus in on that. Understand that the lo logistics part, if that's if there's something in your in your uh, zodiac sign or your, your chart, maybe you're not an organized person or you despise that. Um, that maybe this is a, a challenge or a new lesson for you uh, that spirit might be wanting to like push or guide you towards. Uh, I feel like there's a lack of motivation on the organization piece or the logistical part of actually taking action. Queen of Wands. There's so much more on the other side once you um, end this job. Or I feel like I'm connecting with someone who, oh, my nose is itching. I feel like I'm connecting with someone who didn't get a promotion and you are so done. Uh, you were not expecting to quit your job. Maybe you thought you had this promotion in the bag or something to that effect. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, or there's like end of the year bonuses that came in. It came out again. Nine of materials again. Damn. Yeah. It's like going from a um, misfortune type of job career to now a real opportunity can come in. But you have to close out the cycle. Uh, and the first part of that is making a list. Checking it twice to get those organizational or logistical pieces moving. Okay. So Spirit, tell us more. What else is coming in? This is a generalized reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it does resonate. Appreciate your comments. And yes, if you're wondering, I did go full purple. Not that you can probably see on camera, but I, I didn't like the red. It was a lot and you, you have to do it more often. Damn, sun card, what's going on here? We had queen of wands and the sun here. Look at the amount of happiness and inspiration and uh, energy just coming your way. Like it's so bright and cheery. 
you may have Leo in your chart. Uh, tell me more about this. I'm seeing confetti, Muse of Emotions. This is like the Ace of Cups, basically. There is a very happy experience that is about to occur in your life. I feel like this is something that you have manifested in. I feel like this is someone else involved in this. I feel like this is a very loving, creative, uh, this is something that's like, give me the right word, spirit. This energy is so, I keep seeing like a kaleidoscope. It's constantly changing and evolving into another beautiful image of energy, of ethereal downloads, of 3D changes, but in different perceptions. It's so, look at the colors. Look at the colors on these cards. It's like the yin and yang constantly changing. This energy is headed straight for you, whoever you are. I feel like it's been wanting to make its presence known for quite some time. My nose is itching again on that. Damn. Okay. Tell us more about that. I just heard you're at the summit. You're at the summit. Tell me more. Woo. Ten of cups. I can't make it up. Look. Look at this. What I say about that kaleidoscope, it's interesting that that image is on this card. You're at the summit. If you've been looking for someone, you found your person or you're like, it's like, you hear the sirens going off? Like that's confirmation. Seven on the dot, 10 of cups, sirens, toot toot. I love it. Tell me more. This is the real deal. Ooh, I got lightheaded on that one. That was so straightforward. I cannot make it up. There's a strength card. What I say about that Leo energy, look at this card. I love the artwork in this deck. This is the Muse Tarot. Spirit is acknowledging like how strong you and this person have been to reap the benefits of what's coming in with this, with this energy right here. It is so rewarding. You have earned it because you've put the work in. This person is putting the work in. The work is going to continue. That It's not like it just stops, right? But man, I love the oranges in these cards as well. Like, it's interesting that I wore this color today and that's coming out. Tell us more. It's coming in for my viewer watching this, please. Woo, that flew out. Look at that the hermit it was actually in the reverse um, I feel like I'm really connecting with someone who you know we all take breaks from time to time we take a step back but I feel like the person that I'm connecting with this last time in particular there's something about a maturity upgrade a wisdom upgrade a inner knowing and inner being confidence shift potentially okay uh, the hermit is someone who carries a light and is a beacon for others, but is wise enough to know that they need to take time for themselves. You're coming out of this space, especially with what's headed towards your way or what you're headed to. We're going to switch decks here in a minute to the divine feminine that just flipped death card. Look at this rebirth coming in. It's like, um, what I just say about the, her the hermit, it's like a death to that solidarity, to that oneness there's something here about two becoming one or a um, additional energy joining forces with you. Look how dark these cards are as well. Maybe this has been your energy previously, but again, whatever's headed your way is so bright and sunny and happy and loving. Tell me more. That's odd. I just heard, remember, 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 remember the 5th of November. Isn't that, um, isn't that how the movie V for Vendetta? I 
I might be connecting with someone who feels like there's been a vendetta with your love life or like someone's had a vendetta with you or like spirits had a vendetta against you. Uh, no, no. Um, matter of fact, spirits been saving this blessing for you. That's what I'm hearing. Um, seven of cups. There've been a lot of options and you've got, you have a lot of options coming your way with regards to, and I want to show the goldfish here because normally these are cups, but in this it's goldfish. Okay. The fish is one of the symbols in Christianity here. These are blessings. What's headed your way, the fact that they're orange and gold, again, I, these have weight, like wealthy weight to them. Rewards, blessings, miracles. These are not like people. It might be, but I don't, I don't feel it. It's like a um, emotional fulfilling blessings that you're going to be receiving in the next, I heard two to three months. Um, can you kind of see how in disbelief she is on this card? It's like you're going to be looking at everything and going, how is this possible? Okay. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, the chariot. You are moving so fast. Uh, forward momentum, progression. Spirit is loving what they're seeing. I love the horses on the bottom. It's normally just two. No, this is a whole herd. That's how fast you are moving, my friend. Okay, so we're going to switch decks. Wow. This is a divine feminine deck. So shout out to my divine feminine energy. Uh, all my other divine feminines out there. What up, sis? How you doing? All you masculines got divine feminine too, but uh, especially us women out here. Who have the ability to bring children into this world obviously it takes two to tango uh, but there's something about having a portal between your legs that uh, it can be really confusing growing up and it, it takes a long time to kind of really come into your own as a woman and I just uh, my, my women know what I'm saying I'm proud to be a woman today all right anyways let's wake them up what's up divine feminine tell me what's coming in I just had a raven fly by my car hello you're out here ten of Pentacles stop Must I go any further? The energy has shifted. It's shifting. It's coming in. Happy healing season. Thank you, Jesus, right? Look at that mother and child. Your inner child is being healed now. Claim it. Claim it in the comment below. My inner child is being healed, is healed, will continue healing. All right? Yes, let's go. What else is coming in? That is such a confident, safety, security type of energy. And it's right out the gate. So let's go. I just heard, I just heard uh, what song is that? Is that Bruno Mars? I think I want to marry you. I don't, I don't know who sings that song. I don't listen to that type of music normally. Uh, okay. Interesting. What is this? All right, this is going to be specific here. Okay. I feel like someone from your past, anywhere from 7 to 11 years ago, in your life, that you got played by. All right? This doesn't have to be love related. This is a very specific message. It may not resonate with everybody. I... Uh, there is something coming in with spirit that you're going to hear information about this person. It's not going to be in their favor, but I want you to know spirit is telling me that it's because of their karma coming back now, 14, 14 on the clock, right? When I said that there is something about spirit specifically wanted this person's karma for what they did to you seven to 11 years ago. I keep hearing seven to 11 years ago, whatever they did to you that amount of time ago, their karma is about to come now. You're going to hear information about this from a potential fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libran. Or this person had something, one of those signs in their chart. 
this could be involving a child of theirs like the karma they're gonna pay is gonna involve their, their child and it doesn't necessarily have to be your child or you don't even have necessarily had a child with them again this doesn't if it's not love related this might be like family related I don't know take it as it resonates okay next that was an odd message okay spirit what else I'm seeing a shop back. My forehead's itching. You might be using a shop back or something. Um, I'm seeing like a short on a wire. Okay, this is, this is, someone could possibly get electrocuted. I'm being shown a shop back with like a short in it. If you're using a shop back this weekend or, or tonight or something or whatever, like please be careful. I don't know, I keep seeing like someone might get electrocuted. That was specific. Uh, look, 10 cups. Damn! My cards don't lie. Do you understand what is trying to come into your life? Y'all. It's electrifying. Okay, I was being shown the shop vac, like cleaning up messes, electrifying after a short, like a short, but it's electrifying. I'm now hearing the grease. It's electrifying. And then the Ten of Cups. This love, whatever this is, like, it, it might have been messy, but, like, damn, it's powerful. It's energetic. It's very, um, there's something, like, whenever I think of shop backs, I think of, like, cleaning up or organizing or building something. Like, there's something there with that. Where do you get shop backs? Like, at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, like, those types of stores, which, again, reminds me of, like, Ten of Pentacles type of energy, okay? I don't know. I'm just kind of going off what I'm hearing and seeing King of Wands. Yeah, so this person wants to take uh, action towards you, vice versa. Um, this is really powerful energy. So powerful. Again, it's electrifying. Final messages. The lovers, look at this. Dude, who are you dealing with? This love is like no other, dude. Like, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Congratulations in advance. If this is you, if it resonated, let me know. Uh, if you're looking for a confirmation, I hope it resonated. I'm going to wrap things up here, but um, thanks for joining me in my car. I hope you had a fantastic day today. If you'd like to go privately on a one-on-one, -on -one, all the information will be in the box below. And if this is where we part ways, my darling dears, take care. Bye.